Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and many patients believe that in order to diagnose craniocervical instability, they need a specialized digital motion x-ray. Now, DMX is very helpful, but there are many other ways to get CCI diagnosed. As you remember, there are eight subtypes of CCI. So each one of those subtypes is associated with a different type of imaging. So if we were to go through the list, uh, digital motion x-ray is very good at diagnosing a type 2A and a type 2B, uh, a type 3A and a 3B. But you can still get information from, for instance, flexion extension x-rays, where that could diagnose a type 2A, a type 3A, or a type 3B. Not going to be able to diagnose a type 2B because there is no open mouth lateral bending view on flexion extension x-rays. In the same way, an upright MRI can diagnose the same things that flexion extension x-rays can diagnose. It's not quite as good for diagnosing type 2A, but it can diagnose usually type 3A or 3B. But you also get the advantage with upright MRI with flexion extension of being able to diagnose a type 1A or a type 1C, which are common types of CCI involving the skull and the atlas. And then there are other types of imaging as well. Uh, for example, if you were to get CBCT with flexion and extension, uh, that's going to be similar to an upright MRI. You're going to be able to diagnose type 1A, uh, type 1C, uh, type 2A, uh, as well as type 3A and 3B. So as you can see, the different types of imaging can find different kinds of CCI. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.